So if you are new to the Portugal real estate market, you need to know two things before starting searching property in Portugal. Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I am Luisa and on this channel we are talking about everything related to moving to Portugal, buying real estate in Portugal, living in Portugal and in especially in Algarve because that is the area where we bought an apartment and we are spending there quite a bit of time like six months a year but we are covering all of Portugal in these videos and if you are thinking of relocating to Portugal you know by now that you need a NIF and a bank account in order to make this happen and especially you need that if you want to buy a property here I can help you obtain these things no fuss very easily everything is done online and if you are in need of more details please check out the description below also you must know right off the start that i'm not a realtor real estate is my passion regardless if you are talking about properties in my country or in portugal but if you are in need of a good recommendation for a good realtor i can recommend you someone who helped me buy the property in portugal and also he helped me get a mortgage here in portugal so just shoot me an email and i will send his details now back to Portugal real estate. What are the two things that you absolutely must know before start searching or before even contacting a realtor to help you in your search? The first thing you need to know is that the Portugal doesn't have a national wide database of all the properties. So this means that every realtor has his site where he puts his properties that he wants to sell. And also we have these sites that are like marketplace where everybody can put properties on the market, whether we are talking about a real estate agency or a physical person that just wants to sell his home. The second thing you must know about real estate market in Portugal is that the average realtor doesn't work for you, even if you contact him. He works for the seller, so he will always look out for the interest of the seller. He will not negotiate the price for you, he will look to drive the price up because he gets his commission from the seller. Just know that the average realtor that you are going to find right off the bat without uh, taking a recommendation for someone or just if you find him on the internet, he will mostly look out for the interest of the seller, not your interest. With that said in mind, let's see what are the sites where you should start your search. The first site I want to talk about is Idealista. This is my go-to site when I do research for the videos about the properties that I do on this channel. So I make my research mainly on this site. And why I do that? Because what I like, as you see on the screen, is that you can type here the city or the region, let's say uh, Algarve. And you have this area here. You can uh, select in Algarve the several, they gave you the, the areas here, so you don't need to actually know by name the areas. When you first arrive in Portugal, these might seem a little complicated. Let's select Lagoa. You see, you have a map of Lagoa here, but what I like on this site, the main thing I like on this site is that you can draw your own area. So if you click here, you have Carvoeiro, but let's say that we want the central of Portugal. Let's see around Evora. So we can select, you know, this area like that. We don't know the names. We don't know what towns are here. We just know that we want to be in the central of Portugal. And then the site shows you the homes. Of course, here you can uh, select further, you can put other filters, but it is good that you, you have this tool to select the area that you like. Also, what I like on this site is that you find properties both from real estate and from physical persons. If I had to name like one bad thing about the site is that it doesn't have a lot of filters comparing to the other sites 
and the fact that here you won't find much of um, luxury properties because luxury properties tend to be exclusively sold by specialized agencies so you won't find many of these on these marketplace sites the second site I want to show you is OLEX and OLEX is my least favorite site because as you see, it's not only a site for real estate. On OLX you can sell and uh, buy a lot of things and this site is only in um, Portuguese so you cannot uh, find these ads in English. This can be quite unnerving if you don't know Portuguese you won't understand much. So you go here to Imoveish and select, I don't know, let's say Apartamentos. I don't like this site at all, it doesn't have the feature of other sites, it's all in Portuguese, it's very hard to navigate and on top of everything it has horrible descriptions and this is mainly because this is the favorite site of physical persons who wants to buy or sell properties and they don't want to use a realtor, they don't want to pay the commission of the realtor so this is the go-to site for physical person. The good news with this site and why it's so popular and so loved despite of all the shortcomings is that here you will find bargains because the physical persons are most likely to undervalue the value of the properties and also they will negotiate. Why? Because they afford to do that, they don't have to pay a realtor for that, they didn't have to pay for a specialized photograph or someone to write their description. This is why the photos and the description are so horrible but if you have the patience and you have a low budget this is the go-to site to start looking for properties in Portugal because here you will find bargains and people willing to negotiate the price. The third site that is so loved by the people is Imo Virtual. The bad news is that the site is only in Portuguese but we have a lot of good news. We have great ads, beautiful pictures, a lot of filters to choose from, you have a map and also you have here this little cute graphic of how the price of the property that you are looking right now has evolved during the months and years. So this site is professional and it's easy to find properties here but it's only in Portuguese and this can be quite a turn off. But the people love it and it has a lot of traffic, it has a lot of good ads, you can find here what you're looking for and this is why it's so popular. So these are in my opinion the three sites where you should start your search. If you want to go in depth with your search and you don't find what you're looking for on these websites well then you should go deeper and you can start with the sites that are specifically designed for foreign buyers so are these sites that are specifically made for foreign buyers for example this one right move that is specifically designed for the UK market and what this means is very good quality of pictures, very good description, very detailed description, English speaker realtors, the realtors are mainly from UK or they have uh, the firms that are based in UK and in Portugal so if you are in UK you can go there to speak to the realtor in person and then you can come up here in Portugal and speak to the same firm but other branch and this seems to be a preferred method of the people who are coming from another country because they are used to with their realtors in their country and they kind of search for that familiarity. Also these realtors they have their own methods, methods that you are used to, they work on your terms and they provide a start to finish product, start to finish service. Of course the downside is that they are going to charge you a lot of money for this service but I guess if you are a foreigner you are used to this kind of prices and you are not going to mind spend a little bit of extra money on your realtor then just face the Portuguese bureaucracy at least at the beginning when everything is new and the bureaucracy is the last thing you need on your plate 
when you are moving to Portugal. So Right Move is my go-to site when we are talking about sites design, especially for foreign buyers, but there are others. Other type of sites that you should look into are the private sites of real estate agency. For example, this one like here, ERA. I like this one very much. It's very intuitive. It has nice pictures. It has a lot of um, things you can uh, search for. It has beautiful description. It has this layout uh, of pictures here and uh, they really do a good job documenting these ads. Of course, you have here the map and what I like about this site, it, it has this little area here about surroundings and they just tend to give notes to give rates. For example, if you have schools in the area, how is the business, how is commerce? For example, here you see you can make a, an impression that you have kind of a lot of green areas, you have health services in the area, transportation is so-so, culture and leisure not very close, you have schools, you have also businesses and you have commerce in the area. So I like that they put here this on their site. I didn't see that on other sites. So this is why I like uh, this, um, this site in partic particular. Of course, the fact that they have a really slick site it appeals to me. The other site that is a realtor agency site is Casa Sapo and this site is really beloved by the Portuguese and foreigners alike. Why I like it is because you have this map here of Portugal and you have all the concelios drawn up so you just move you, your cursor like that on the map and you have the names of the districts and this is good because uh, in this way you can also learn about different dis districts. Here you have Madeira, here you have the Azores and here you have Faro. Of course this site has beautiful pictures and really nice uh, descriptions it has the map it has uh, also this price so you see how the price varies and it's a good site with a lot of ads and you can find uh, what you are looking for here but i have to mention that if you are choosing to do your research on an agency site on a real estate agency site the main bad thing is that you are only going to find properties that that agency is selling so, so let's say that you are finding a property that you like and for some reason you don't like to work with uh, this agency you have to start all over again finding that property on another site or another agent that is selling that uh, property and you might not find this might be an exclusive uh, ad registered only with the, this agency or by chance if you see another property that is not listed with this particular agency this realtor will not help you will just not help you see that property i mean maybe some of the realtors will help you will get in touch with the actual realtor who is showing that property and maybe agreeing to split the commission but this is not happened very often the realtors don't collaborate much especially on lower price budget properties because the commission is very low as it is and they don't want to share it even further so this can be something to keep in mind and i would not do my research on just one of the sites i would start with the three that i show you at the beginning that are like marketplaces and everybody puts ads there and then i will refine my search on some of these more customized sites and the last site that i want to show you is for luxury properties i like everything about this site from the team it screams luxury the pictures are very beautiful they really really go out of their way to sell these apartments because as you can see the properties are very expensive but the main thing that i like about this site is that you have very interesting criteria for searching the properties so for example you can search your properties by lifestyle for example you can search properties by beach country living equestrian if you like horses eco-friendly 
farm ranch, flying golf lake front. So yeah, you have this. So you have this feeling of luxury starting right from the search of the properties right until you actually buy the property so this if you are looking for a luxury property just start here because you most likely will find here what you are looking for and not on the other sites that are not luxury specialized so these are my favorite sites and the sites that i recommend you start your search for buying a property in Portugal. If you have another recommendation of sites that you used or like, please leave it in the comments for other people who are looking to move to Portugal and they used up all my recommendation and they are in need and looking for something new. If you like the video, please don't forget to subscribe and watch some of my other videos and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye!